Hi everybody, it's Exana, and today I'm going to show you how to make this basic wire-wrapped crescent moon pendant. I got these little lights. <laughs> that That's why my setup looks different, but I'm not sure that... Um, I think I need to play around with my setup some more, so bear with me <laughs> as I work through that in the next few videos. But if you want to see how to make this very basic, easy, beginner crescent moon pendant, I, um, I tried my best to make this sort of video that people that are just starting out can follow along. It uses just one piece of wire, and it is just a round wire round 20 gauge copper wire that you can get from a um, craft store so you don't have to buy in bulk or order online so hopefully this will be something that will be helpful to those that are starting out and want to make a crescent moon pendant and this one is kind of a unisex moon very um very kind of straight lines but I'm gonna make another video where it's gonna be more swirly if you like more swirly all right so let's get started all right so the things you will need is a crescent moon um, shaped stone and mine is one and a half inches tall if I you know measure it this way and then some wire I cut myself a piece of 19 inches. This is 20 gauge wire. This is enameled copper wire. Um, this one I think is just the natural copper copper color. It's just been coated with like a clear coating so it stays this color and doesn't tarnish. Um, you can get various brands of this wire. I'm not sure exactly um, the stores that carry zebra wire but you can definitely get it online or if um, you go to like Michaels or AC Moore, you're gonna find similar type of wire. It might be called like the artistic brand wire. There's a few other brands. I don't live in the US anymore, so I'm kinda out of the loop in terms of the brands that are sold in stores. But basically, um, you should be able to find in store a 20 gauge round copper wire, and this is dead soft copper if you're ordering online. So this is my 19 inch piece of wire. It's all you're gonna need is just this one piece of wire. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just not completely bend it in half, but just gently bend it to find the middle of it. So this is the middle. And then you're gonna take your moon and you're gonna go here on the bottom tip of your moon and you're gonna take your wire, roughly the middle of your wire and you're gonna put it around like this. Try to keep it tight, don't make it like a big loose loop. And then this little end we're gonna bend to the back as well. Okay, so I'll show you up close in one second. So you have essentially two, looks like two pieces of wire, but really here, I'll take it off. Really, it's just the one. Okay, so we just went around and down. And that's the formation that it makes. So now, these two wires that are here in the back, we're just gonna twist them like this. Okay, just so they stay together. Just twist them together. Like that, okay? So now, we're gonna bend them flat against your moon. Like this. Okay, so here's from the front. So far, we just have the little wrap down here. That's all. So now, this wire here, we're just gonna bring it around the moon. Around and this way. Okay? So now you have two of these. One here and one here. All right, this is my less swirly moon. My next video is gonna have a more swirly moon. 
So I'm not putting swirls in yet. I'm going to just do like one little loop just because actually I'm not going to do any loops. This is going to be completely swirl free and then my other video I'll add in some swirls. All right, so another time, bring that up. Now we have three. And now we have four, okay? So what's left to do is to make the bale so you can put um, a necklace in there to wear your moon. So here's how I'm going to make the bail. You don't have to have necessarily round nose pliers for this. You can just do it by hand. But basically we're just making a little bend in this. Like that. And then we're pressing the wire down against your moon. So this is going to be your bail for your necklace. Okay, so we're just going to bring that back up. So it's just going down, 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 and then back up. So essentially what we've been doing, except instead of just tight against the moon, we left a little space up there, a little gap. And now we're going to bring it this way. We're going to bring it around like that. So we're going around, 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 around. Here's what it looks like from the front. You're doing that. Around some more. So it's basically going around almost a complete time. And now here, we're basically going to tuck it away into the bale. So I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to trim the wires off. in such a way that there's just a little bit of them here, some little ends right there. Just enough so we can bend it into here, into this bale. So I'm using some pliers. This would be pretty hard to do without pliers. I'm taking those ends and I'm just bending them inwards. Okay. So then just keep doing that. Just push them in there, both of the ends, to get them out of the way. So no, um, no wire ends will be exposed. Okay, so they're all tucked away in there. You can't um, feel any sharpness or see them really. They're just tucked away in there from the back. Just looks like that. Just can see it going across this way and that is it now you can just put a necklace through this little loop so thank you so much for watching and if you're interested in any of the jewelry that I make my website is exonacrafts.com I'll have it linked down below so thank you so much and I'll see you next time bye